Hi, it's Nicole Moore here with another Flirty Friday video. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below to make sure you never miss a video because every Friday I share the most amazing, epic love and relationship tips. Today's video is all about how to create a love inventory. So if you're watching this video live, it is almost the end of 2017 and we're moving into 2018 and you probably have love resolutions or a big love vision for 2018, or at least I hope you do. But how do we actually set the stage to get there? So I really believe that when we come to the end of the year, we have to digest the year. We have to get the knowledge and the learnings from the year and then very consciously and intentionally decide what we're going to get moving forward and how we're going to get it. So I'm going to share with you how to do a love inventory. You want to get out a pad and a paper and you want to ask yourself some questions. The first question is, what worked? in 2017. What were the high points for you in love and dating and relationship, wherever you're at, whether you're in a relationship or whether you're single or somewhere in between? What were the moments that really stand out? Maybe you had an amazing date with a man. Maybe you and your partner really got along for three months out of the year. What were the high points? Go back and I usually start, I just, I put my mind in January and then I move throughout each month and I think about what was going on in each month. So look for the high points. The reason I want you to do this is because we want to celebrate the year that has passed. Even if you feel like it was, you know, a horrible year in some respects, so aren't you pulling out the good? Now, you might be like, well, I had no love life, Nicole. Hello, that's why I'm watching you. If that's you, you can still find high points. So maybe you were completely single, but maybe this year you felt a little bit less lonely. You get the point? I want you to find the positives, the high points. Even if you dated someone and it didn't work out, what were the good moments? Write those down. And now here's the important question. You want to ask yourself, how was I being that created that result? And you're going to find words or feelings. For example, let's say you had the best day of your life in 2017. And maybe, you know, the, the, the why it created the best state is when you think about it, you were like, wow, you know, I went on the date. I was really unattached to the outcome. I really didn't put an agenda on the date. I just, I just was present. And that's giving you information that when you're unattached, when you're present, when you have no agenda, you have a really great time. Maybe, you know, you had a really great relationship with your uh, partner for three months out of the year. And you want to ask yourself, how was I being that created that result? And you're going to think maybe, okay, you know, I was being really compassionate. I was really happy with myself at the time. So it was easy to be happy with him. You get the idea. You want to write down, how were you being that created the result? The reason I want you to write that down is because I want you to get that you're creating the results in your love life, good or bad. And I do this with my clients all the time. When they get a result in their love life, I always ask them, okay, reverse engineer. What made that happen? And write that down because that's giving you clues to what makes you personally successful in love. So you're going to have your list of the ways of being that work. Go ahead and carry those forward into 2018. And now you want to ask yourself, what were the low points? What were the moments in your love life that just totally sucked? Again, start in January and just think about each month moving forward. Write down the low points. You had a breakup. You had a dry spell. You fought with your husband. You were just so chronically lonely and single. You went to a wedding and you bawled your eyes out because everyone's getting married and you're not. Write down the low points. I know this might feel tough, but again, we got to digest it and let it go. And then you want to ask yourself the same question. How was I being that created this result? So you might think, okay, well, I was chronically single. Well, how I was being was reclusive, isolating, you know? I was starting and stopping my dating life. So in other words, I wasn't committed. You know the ways you were being that didn't work. Be honest with yourself. Write them down. Now, this list of words is what's stopping you from creating the love that you want. So you want to make an intention that in 2018, you let these ways of being go. And now here is the million dollar, very, 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 very important question that I want you to ask yourself to prepare yourself for success in 2018. Ask yourself, what is my goal? What's the number one thing I want? So in terms of your love life, what would be ridiculously amazing? 
what would be at the end of 2018, you're sitting there and you're at dinner with your girlfriends and you're like, I literally cannot believe this happened. This is so amazing. It's everything I dreamed and more and I'm pinching myself that I'm here. Write down that result. Is it married to the love of your life and soulmate? Is it having a baby with the man you love? Whatever it is. That's not the important question. That's just the goal. And now here's the important question. What's one thing that I could do or one thing that I could change within me to guarantee hitting that goal in 2018? Now, this question might feel a little confronting because I'm like, oh, what do you mean? You might be like, what do you mean guarantee the result? Are you thinking in that, those terms? Are you thinking, oh, my love goal is the most important thing. I want to guarantee I get that result. So how do I set myself up? to get there. So the question is, what's one thing I could do or one thing I could change within me that would guarantee me hitting that goal? So let's say, for example, your goal is to be married to the love of your life. And what didn't work in 2017 is you attracted unavailable men over and over and over again. Well, one thing you could change that would be the game changer that would guarantee you getting the result you want, which is a committed man, is healing your wounding around an available man. Like that would make sense, right? To, to work on that, to heal that, to get your results. So what I'm asking you to do is think about your big love goal, what's getting in the way of you being there, and what's the number one thing that you can commit to doing or changing that's going to be that game-changing piece that guarantees you get there. What if you thought in terms of what do I need to do to guarantee to get there? So it might be I really need to heal my heart and open up my heart again. I know I'm blocked. It might be I need to start dating because I've been single for years and I'm making up a story that I hate dating or I hate online dating and my game-changing piece is I need to just get out there. It might be I need to let go of my ex. It might be I need to stop fighting with my husband. It might be you know I need to hire a love coach, work with Nicole. What is the one thing that would guarantee you getting there. If you think this way, you're going to be in the top rare percentage of people that aren't wishing and hoping for 2018 to be better than 2017. You're going to be in the rare percentage of people that are actually making it happen. So I sincerely hope this love inventory was helpful for you. I cannot wait to keep delivering amazing Flirty Friday videos to you every Friday in 2018. And here's the next thing I want you to do. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you liked about this video. Let me know what your number one love goal is in 2018. I want to hear from you and I want to celebrate your love goal. Hope you have a very flirty Friday.